Hi everybody, I thought I'd do a quick video on finding the glyphs or the uh, extra little characters in some of the fonts that you purchase, and even in some of the free ones. So anyway, um, what you're going to want to do is search for the character map on your computer. In Windows 10, it's down here to the left, it says type here to search. I think it's under the start menu for some other versions. I guess you'll have to figure that out. But anyways, click in the search and uh, search for the character map. It should pop up. Go ahead and click on that. And this is what the character map looks like. Um, I already found the font that I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use Samantha Upright for this demonstration. Um, and what you're going to want to do is click the text in Design Space and do a search for the same font. So, Samantha. I have two um, installed right now. I have Italic and Samantha Upright. You want to make sure that you're choosing the same version both in your character map and in design space <clears throat> and so I'm going to type my name and let's say I want one of the fancier K's okay bring up your character map and search for the font that you're using I'm using Samantha Upright and then move down here to group by and you'll want to set it to unicode subrange when this little pop-up shows up scroll down and click on private use characters that's where all your special characters will be and then pick the character you want to use let's see i want a k there's a whole lot of choices in the Samantha font. I'm going to use this one. Hit select and copy. Go back over to design space and bring up your text box. Um, get rid of the K I have there and I'm going to control V to paste the new K in. You can come up to the top and decrease your letter spacing to get those letters a little bit closer. You want to keep going until they're as close as you can get them without them overlapping to make it bigger so you can really get close put that letter spacing that actually looks pretty good um, a lot of times you'll have to ungroup and move them by hand to get them really uh, spaced correctly because sometimes just using the um, letter spacing will have one going over too far and some other ones not enough and in that case you would ungroup and just move them right where they need to be and when you're done with that you're going to want to select any kind of uh, cursive fonts and weld them and the reason for that is when you go to make it and it cuts it if it's not welded um, it's it's going to cut out each letter separately so it's not going to peel off your mat all connected and you don't want that so go ahead and make sure to weld your cursor box um, actually I should have made a duplicate of it before I welded and then hit it. That way if you want to make changes once you save and close out you'll be able to do that because welding's permanent. 
So if I save this and close out a design space, when I open back up, um, I'm not going to be able to change this at all. Um, there is other font managers that are better than the character map, but pretty much I think everybody has a character map. So it's easily available. Um, I've been using High Logic Main Type. Um, there's a free version. I guess you can buy buy it also. Yeah, if you pay for the uh, font manager, I guess there's other things in there that you can do with it. But I've just been using the free version. So. Why don't we go ahead and take a peek at that. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Um, use free edition. Just close out of that. Um, let's Look for some at the upright. Come on, computer. I think you can just do a search over here as well. There we go. Um, Samantha upright regular. That's what I want. And as you can see, it's a lot larger, so that, that's a lot easier for me because I'm over 50, and frankly, those small characters are horrible. I can't really see the letters, and it's pretty much the same idea. Um, click on the one you want, and you can right-click, do copy to clipboard, Go back into design space. Uh, let's get this out of my way. Do your text and the same as before. Make sure you got the same version there, which I do. Samantha Upright Regular. I'm gonna type my name. Let me get rid of that K though and do a control V to paste in the K I wanted. Um, whoops, select, come on. I can, well let's make this bigger also. Click on that down arrow in the letter spacing. Make sure, whoops, the R went a little too far over. Let's try the up arrow, move it back. That looks pretty good. But this is definitely way too far apart. So I'm going to select these. You can use your arrows on your keyboard. Um, a lot of times that moves it too far. One click is too far a lot of the time when you're just trying to move the smidge. Okay, that looks good. And then select all and weld. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So until next time, bye.